Hey everybody, welcome back. This week we are finally going to get that motor installed. Last week we got the motor halfway mounted. We cut some tubes, started some welds. This week we're going to pick up right where we left off. All right, so uh, cut the tubing, got it cleaned off both sides. Now time to kind of mount the other half of the motor. So this guy will go in. Let's see if we can do this here. So it'll go right there and then up there. So you see I cleaned it off on the frame there. So I'll go ahead and clean up the other side and then I will tack and weld these in place. here just about halfway done when ran out of weld wire so got to go get some All right, here's the uh, tube just welded. Um, yeah, again, the, part of the challenge with the welding, I realize I'm not good, but the other challenge is just so awkward trying to get in and out of everything. So yeah, that's where we're to. Found a hole in the glove. One of the sparks just went right in and sat there. So, ouchie. All right, there's just a picture of one of the welds. Um, I've got all the uh, welds done though. So I will now take essentially this wooden structure off that's uh, been sitting on there forever. And then uh, I will consider the motor mounted. Alright, it is off. So, 
Um, I'll go ahead and tighten down the, uh, the mounts and do some measurements to see how close we got. After that, um, we'll go on to battery mounting. Uh, I need to weld up some things there. I will also put in some cross braces here and there kind of after I uh, do the battery mounting. All right, here is the uh, rig that I built up to hold the motor. It is off now. So there it is, hanging on the frame. And this is what the motor looks like from the underneath. Um, I don't have these tightened yet, so I need to make sure they're kind of aligned the way I want and then tighten them up. All right, so uh, got all the plates kind of tied or tightened up. Uh, there's a couple spots where as it's sucking it up, it's starting to run into the uh, aluminum Tesla subframe. So I had to kind of shave off some corners, but uh, did some measurements and um, trying to just see how to describe this, but so left, so I guess I'll say kind of, um, so left to right, it's dead center. So we got it good left to right. Um, this, so again, front to back's fine. And I believe height's fine. We won't know, I think, until we actually get some wheels on it and put it on the ground um, and see kind of what sort of uh, height adjustment we have on these coilovers. But hopefully, hopefully everything looks good. Um, Kind of on all the twisting, I'll say, um, what's that, roll? We'll say roll is, is actually really good. Um, yaw, so we're off by about a half a degree. So it kind of, again, during welding and such, uh, with heating and cooling, it kind of just pulled just ever so slightly. And then, let me say yaw. Anyway, this way, this way is fine. So, Really quite pleased with how everything turned out and can't wait to get it on the ground. All right, one other thing we need to be thinking about is getting some wheels. So um, I haven't really decided on rims and such, but uh, the front is uh, I believe five by 100 for the lug spacing there. And I can fit an 18 rim, sorry, I can fit an 18 rim I think I'll go nine or nine and a half uh, wide up front. Um, I think that'll be plenty for this light uh, car. The rear for the Tesla, so the Tesla is five by 120, so much bigger, and I can't get an 18 on there, meaning 18's too small, it'll hit calipers and such, so I'm gonna do 19 on the rear, and I believe I'm gonna go with 11 on the rear. And yeah, so what that means though, is the rear, essentially to get the kind of tire I want, um, I'm gonna have to do a couple things. Number one, if I wanna get something like an 11, I think the widest I can get right now is about a nine or even an eight with like a pretty large offset because otherwise the wheels poke out quite a bit and because I've got such a tight gap, around that I would need to not any bumps or essentially widen the wheel well there. So I am planning to uh, do a couple things. Um, one is I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit as well as maybe just give a titch more room so I can get more tire. All right, so I, I just realized I've got an issue with the uh, putting on the rear bumper crash bar. So this is kind of the back half of the uh, shell and what happens is if I go ahead and hide this. So this was my crash bar back here. Um, the problem is that shell, um, it, it kind of swings down and it's pretty dang close to the motor. And then it kind of comes back out here where I want that crash bar. So rather than welding the crash bar, I'm gonna have to pin it. So either that or go without it. All right, I'm just trying to clean up the frame a little bit in the back here. So the original tube that was here that was cut off, I'm just trying to 
grind that down so it looks decent. I'm also uh, sanding off some of the powder coating to get ready to weld on um, some pieces for the rear battery box. Got the uh, steel all cleaned up, and uh, I'll go try and set things up so I can uh, weld these in place. I cleaned up the three spots that I'll be welding. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, jack that's on the uh, that's on the lift. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up so these pieces can actually just lay on it, and I'll get them all square and weld them in place. Alright, cut this other one to length and clean it all up so we'll go weld that in place. Alright, so I've got to weld, weld, and then weld over there and then I got on top and did the uh, sides as well as the top. So, just quick on the side. So I'll go ahead and clean those up and keep going. All right, so I got it all welded, cleaned up. This is essentially the shelf that the uh, rear battery pack, those four battery modules will kind of sit on. Um, they're in an orientation like this. Um, I'll show you here. So instead of laying down like this, they're gonna be up like this. And there's a plug that goes here, so they can't just rest on this bottom. Um, so I'm gonna utilize uh, this here. And essentially I'll do a, I'll, I'll have something like this that goes in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but essentially it'll kind of go like this and this will help it uh, stand off from the bottom and also prevent it from from going this way or this way. I, what I'll do though is I'll put like a little, uh, I'll get a thick rubber tube and kind of just slit it and then put it over here. And that way it'll be kind of a, absorbing some of the impacts and things and not be quite so rigid. So, but I am gonna go ahead and get another angle stock here, put it across there in the position I want those batteries to sit. All cleaned up. Let's go get it welded. All right, got that one in. We'll keep going. So the access for these, so still trying to figure out how best to do it. I'm gonna put, uh, I don't know, I might need to go back in CAD, but my thought was to put some L brackets or, uh, sorry, the angle stock uh, kind of up, up the sides on both sides on the back. And then my original thought for the front was to, I've got some hinges that I was gonna weld on there and there, and, and basically this, it can hinge open this way so you can kind of take the batteries out. Um, but we'll see, I may, uh, like I said, I may have to go back and do some design work. But for now, this is kind of the base. So this is where all the batteries will sit and that's where we have it.
All right, here are my two angle brackets or angle steel that I'm gonna go weld on. Yeah, I had one of the uh, sparks or embers kind of fall, go through the shirt and get me kind of good there. All right, so I got these uh, kind of main vertical L brackets or uh, angle stock there. Uh, welded there and then also kind of on the other side so yeah got two of them there again the batteries will kind of sit here on this and we'll get some more angle stock I believe on the back and then we'll come across on the top and over the top this way I'm still trying to figure out if I want uh, this bottom part I'm gonna have it hinge open or not so just trying to figure out the best way to access the batteries. All right, first trimester complete. Now it's time to think of names. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this week. We were able to get the motor installed, so a huge milestone. Uh, starting to work on that rear battery box uh, frame. And so we'll continue with that. Uh, once we get that in, we'll go back to wiring. I also need to finish the uh, brakes on the Tesla for the rear part. So that, that'll be what's next. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.